Welcome to my new video. Today we discuss little bit further about the partial differential equation. Today I solve uh, uh, non-linear homogeneous partial differential equation of higher order and higher degree. In my previous video you can see how to solve homogeneous linear partial differential equation. In non-linear partial differential equation what is the difference? That is the form of partial differential equation. A partial differential equation phi of d comma d dash z equal to f of x and y means this side is having partial derivative with respect to d means del by del x with respect to del by del y and z is there constants are there and right hand side only have function of x and y is called non-linear if all terms of phi d d dash are not in the same order in my previous video you can see I compare also what are the homogeneous what are the in homogeneous all terms having the same order but in non homogeneous that is not necessary all terms are having same order and the solution of this is same also like previous complementary function plus particular integral z equal to c f plus p i so Solution is we have two parts complementary function and particular integral but in that case both complementary function writing and particular integral finding are the different. So when you see about the differential equation not partial their method of complementary function and particular integral are different then for homogeneous is one other way for non-homogeneous is one other way I just write the general equation for how to write complementary function and partial particular integral we can find from the previous method how we and general formula and all the previous homogeneous form so how to write complementary function complementary function in general form I can write e to the power minus c i upon a i f of i mark a i y minus b i x if a i is not equal to 0. Similarly in other way e to the power minus c i upon d i f i a i y minus b i x if b i is not equal to 0. So you never understand what is this but when we use in the so, uh, questions you can easily understand how to write. See i denotes the general notation if we have the equation in the form what I write in the form of equation a i d plus b i d dash plus c i of z equal to f of x comma y. So if our equation we can rewrite means all derivative of x d times a i a i is the constant of del by del x b i is the constant of del by del y c i is the without derivative constant so you can compare this e to the power minus c i by a i if a, this equation works if a i is not equal to zero this equation works if b i is not equal to or so either you can use this one or this one any one equation we can use at a time if both are not zero you can use any one so we will use this one so now I solve one example on non homogeneous linear equation so you can better understand how to solve so we go for the examples example is solve d minus d dash is 1 d minus d dash minus 2 of c e to the power 2x minus of y. So here if we see this is non-homogeneous every term don't have the same power so it is called non-homogeneous. For non-homogeneous now we have to find out 
our A, I and B, I and C, I. So in first case this is there is A1, B1, C1. Its constant is A2, B2 and this is C2. So in this A1 is 1. So A1, your A1 equal to 1, B1 equal to minus of 1, C1 equal to minus of 1. Clear? From similarly, A2 is equal to 1, B2 is equal to minus 1, C2 is equal to minus of 2. Clear? So step 1, you have to find out A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. After that, you write the complementary function with any one of the form. If a i is not equal to 0, you can use the first form. So, I will write. Now, I have two parts of complementary function. One with this and other with this. Because it is second order. Partial differential equation. What is the highest order? We will find out that much of uh, part of complementary function. So, our complementary function equal to e to the power minus c i upon a i. So c 1 upon a 1 minus c 1 is minus 1 upon a 1 is 1 then f 1. f i is f 1. f 1 of a i y a 1 y 1 y minus of b 1 x. So, this is minus of minus 1 x. Clear? Plus e to the power similarly minus of minus 2 upon 1. C2 upon A2. I write it here. Plus e2 upon minus of minus 2 by 1. F2 same a i into y. So 1 into y minus of b i b2 is minus 1 into x. So what will it becomes? If we rewrite it is minus minus plus of x e to the power x is there. So e to the power minus minus plus 1 by 1 is 1. So e to the power x f1 of y plus x. Similarly, e to the power 2x, f2, y plus x. I rewrite it again. e to the power x, f1, y plus x plus e to the power 2x, f2, y plus x. So, this is our complementary function for given equation. Now I solve particular pi for this. Particular integral is same. We have to replace d with 2 and d dash with coefficient of this is minus 1. So we replace d with 2 and d dash with minus 1. If it goes 0 then we go for general root. If it cannot then we can go with the same root. So now I check for the pi. So pi is 1 upon this into e to the power 2x. So I will write again pi 1 upon d. I put d is d is 2 d dash is minus of 1. Clear? So 2 minus minus of 1 minus 1. Same 2 minus minus of 1 minus 2. Clear? e to the power 2x plus 2x minus of y. Now we check, see here, this is minus minus plus 1. So plus 1 minus 1 cancel out. 2 is remaining. There is minus minus plus 1. 2 and minus 2 is cancelled. So what is remaining? 1 upon 2 into 1. 
of e to the power 2x minus 1. So that is our PR. So now our complete solution is complementary function plus PI. So when you write Z equal to CF plus PI. It's very easy if you know how to write. Because in previous question also you know how to find out the particular integral. Clear? So next I will discuss some more question on the homogeneous form because homogeneous form is more difficult. We will discuss one more example on the homogeneous. If I have question is d minus 2d dash d plus 3d dash of z equal to y cos of x. If we can see first term have two order then this is also two order this is also two order then this is means each and every term have same order it means now it is homogeneous for homogeneous first we have to find out the complementary function solution same put d equal to m so m d dash equal to 1 m minus 2 m plus 3 equal to 0 so roots are 2 comma minus 3 for 2 comma minus 3 how to write the complementary function you know previously we can write f1 y plus mx clear so our complementary function is f1 y plus 2x plus f2 y minus of 3x so this is our complementary function now we work on the particular integral so for pi i erase it and you go for pi 1 pi 1 upon d minus 2 d dash d plus 3 d dash y cos x. Now cos x multiply with one other function of y. So we can't find out with any rule we go for the general form. General form is what? 1 upon d minus m d dash f of x comma y is integral of f of x comma y is replaced with c minus m of x integrate with respect to dx clear so this is the general form we apply one by one first we apply on this we can say this is u after whatever the value of u is coming here we apply same rule with this clear so we go step by step so first I apply either with this or either with this. Anything we can operate. In place of this we can apply first on this and after that this. That is also okay. So now we go 1 upon d minus 2 d dash. We can say this is u. d minus 2 d dash y cos of x. We can rewrite. y is replaced with c of c minus mx so 2x cos of x dx clear so now y replace with c minus 2x now we have to integrate it with the integration by parts u into v d by u as it is d by integration of v then d by dx of u integration of v dx d. you know already so i can apply direct so we will get c minus 2x as it is integration of sin x cos x is sin x minus then again minus of 2x differentiation of c minus 2x is minus of 2 so minus minus plus 2 integration of sin x dx so next c minus 2x sin x plus 2 integration of sin x is minus cos x so minus 2 cos x clear so
So this is our first part. This is our u. Replace c minus 2x with v and now operate with this. So now this part already operated. We can operate with this. So 1 upon d minus 3 d dash u is what? This is y. y sin x minus 2 cos x. Clear? So now we operate y sin x minus 2 cos x with this. With same root. y replace with c minus mx. So c minus of 3x is minus minus plus. So y is equal to c plus 3x. Clear? So c plus 3x we can replace here. So now I erase the rule also. So our function become integration y is c plus 3x put here sin x minus 2 of cos x dx clear same integration by parts when we integrate c plus 3x as it is integration of sin x is minus of cos x sorry minus of cos x then minus 2 integration of sin cos x is sin x clear and then next term this with this minus 3 integration of sin x integration of minus of cos x so cos x dx and this becomes plus because of this minus sign. So u as it is integration of v then d by dx of u integration of v then again integrate with respect to x. So this term and this term integration of 2 cos x is minus of sin x. Again we will apply this is c plus 3x minus of cos x minus 2 sin x and this integration of cos x is 3 of sin x. Now you can simplify it. It is 2 sin x. It is 3 sin x. So completely this becomes plus of 3 sin x. So it becomes what is becomes? C minus this c plus 3x is y. So minus of y cos x plus sin x. Because this 2 sin x plus 3 sin x. Only 1 sin x is remaining. This is our PI. So complete solution. We can write CF plus PI. Complementary function plus particular integral. So z equal to f1. What is our complementary function? y plus 2x plus f2 y minus of 3x plus pi is minus of y. So minus of y cos x plus of sin x. So this is the complete solution for given higher order linear partial differential equation. So it is not compulsory that either it is homogeneous or non-homogeneous you can think what is the form if homogeneous then it's very easy if non-homogeneous only the difference we have to write in the different way of complementary function so only for that you have to recognize that that's all for